What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. I am on my way to take these shoes back. <laughs> yes, I'm on my way to take these shoes back. Unfortunately, when you have to return something or do anything, like chores, it's, it's a 30 to uh, hours drive, and the closest uh, the closest uh, UPS store is an hour 50, 52 minutes away. So I'm on my way to do that and get my money back. I did buy some new tennis or new walking shoes. Now, I looked at all the comments that you guys said, and the thing is that my feet are so small, I wear a six, a size six, a size six, y'all. And when it comes to men's shoes, the majority of men, especially like even tennis shoes, come, they start at like a size seven. So it's very, very difficult for me to find specific type shoes. I had that problem all my life, especially with working in the printing industry and wearing steel toe shoes. They were always a size too big for me, but there's nothing I could do about that. I just have a small feet. So it's not that, you know, I'm not willing to invest in a pair of good walking shoes is trying to find a good pair of walking shoes that in my size. So I started to think, well, you know what? Maybe I have to buy women tennis shoes. So I started, I got back on Amazon and I looked into, I put in uh, women, women's walking shoes, tennis shoes. And I bought a pair of tennis shoes. Um, now the thing I had, problems deciding was the difference between a men's size and a woman's size. If I wear a six in my size or men's size, what would it be equivalent to in a woman's shoe? So I don't know. I just took a chance and took a guess and I bought a six and a half for some reason, I thought that the women's shoes would be smaller, like a six in men's and a six in women's. I would think that, I could be wrong. My, my logic could be wrong. I was thinking that the, the women's six would be feel smaller. Anyhow, it may not make sense. It may, I, know, I might be thinking the complete opposite. I don't know, but I bought a six and a half and when I get back, I'll show you guys the tennis shoes that I bought. I like them. I hope they fit well because uh, they got nice thick soles on them. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they have nice thick soles on them. At least judging by the picture. Sometimes, more times than enough, I look at something on Amazon at the picture, I look at the picture, and then when I get it in person, it's like not exactly the same. But anyways, I have some more. I'll give these a shot. My leg actually right now, my leg doesn't hurt, but I definitely, definitely know that something is going on. I definitely know that it's going on because my leg is still swelled a little bit. Now, I don't want you guys to think that my legs are like puffed up like that. They are not. They, you can tell that there's a difference between the right leg and the left leg. But my leg is not all puffed up and swelled up because I don't want y'all to think that it's like crazy, crazy swelled because it's, it's not. But I definitely know because it's been way too long now that my leg uh, has been this way. I do have a doctor's appointment on the 20th of this month. I'm going to repeat that because some people are probably still going to say, Anthony, you should get that checked out. You're going to get this checked out. 
I have a doctor's appointment on the 20th of this month. So I'm going to get a full body physical and I'm going to have them look at my leg. Um, but I definitely think that something is going on. It's kind of weird because my leg no longer hurts and I can walk on it regular. You know, and don't feel anything. But when I look down at it, I can tell that it still swelled just a little bit. It's not a big difference from the right leg, which is where the issue is, to the left leg. But definitely something is going on. Yuppie, yuppie, yeah. All right. I still have about 39 minutes. <laughs> I still have about 39 minutes to get to this GPS store. But I'll see you guys when I get back home. All right, guys. I am back. I am back home. Back home. And here are my new tennis shoes. So let's take a look at them. I bought something else. I'll show you guys after I um, show you guys these tennis shoes. I had to pay for a box to send those shoes back. I'm like, that's a big difference between going to the UPS store down this way than up, up in PA. I don't have to pay for no boxes. All right, let me see what these tennis shoes look like. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. How do you open this box? Why is a shoe box so complicated? I'm really serious. How do you open this box? <laughs> How do you open this box? <laughs> I want my shoes. I want my shoes. Ooh. Oh, God, my feet are small. Here they are. Here they are. Da 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 da. <laughs> These so silly. But yeah, there they are. I, they got some nice soles to them. They look nice. They were part of the description or the description on Amazon said that these are walking shoes. They supposed to be arch supported, all of that stuff. But we shall see. This look little. This is a six and a half. Maybe I should have bought a seven in the women's shoe. Who knows? But like I was telling y'all in the car, I don't know. But this looks. This shoe look really tiny. Oh my goodness! I might have to send these back and get a a seven. Come on. Lord have mercy, these things look so, is my feet really that tiny? What in the hoot nanny? <laughs> oh my heavens, are my feet that small? And I even got a little bit, I'm gonna show y'all these tennis. Oh, they look so tiny. Let me get some socks. Oh, they look so tiny. I mean, really tiny, y'all. They look really, really small. Oh my heavens, is my feet that small? I got a child's feet. <laughs> I'm 58 years old and I got a child's feet. Look how little these shoes are. 
I feel like I'm whispering in my own house. Alright. I like the way they look though. Oh my heavens. These are some tiny shoes. job on the bed so so y'all can uh see these shoes oh lord now i gotta turn the back light on and i still got a little bit of let me turn some lights on so y'all can get a nice i need the back lights on Ugh. Gotta reach around, y'all. Move out the way. Move out the way. All right, let me show y'all these these little tiny shoes. They feel nice though. Hey, 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 hey. They feel nice. I'm gonna put y'all on the floor so y'all can see them. How about that? Look. <laughs> trash bags be getting in my way. Look. Can y'all tell my feet swollen? This one right here is swelled a little bit right here. Right up in there. But look at these. Okay. Okay, I gotta lower y'all down just a little bit more. I like them. They feel good, and I got. Oh no, my feet is up there, boy. My toes are up there. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, sucky, sucky. Hey, <laughs> hey. All righty. That's what I'm talking about. They feel nice. Oh yes. They feel nice. Oh yes, they feel good. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> yes. They feel a little bit snug. And they feel like feel like I can rock in them because they're supposed to be like arch supported. I can rock in them. Hey, oh, hey, oh. All right, enough of the silliness, Anthony. I'm about to start walking again. Yes, I am. All right. Now let me put y'all back down yonder. Woo! No, I didn't lose my balance. I tripped over my shoes and my slippers that's on the floor. Because I know some of y'all say, Anthony, you keep losing your balance. <laughs> no, I seriously tripped over my, sh my shoes that I just now took off. This crazy box. Let me show y'all what I bought. What else I bought? Now, I really, 
I was never interested in these before. And then I decided that, hmm, that would be really cool to have. So I bought, I bought a drone. Oh my gravy. It's probably going to take me like two weeks to learn how to use this thing because y'all know me. I bought a drone and I bought a drone for one reason and one reason only. Because I got in my head that I think that it would be so cool to show you guys some aerial shots of all the different campgrounds that I stay. So don't y'all think that would be really cool? I do. Yes, I bought a... And this, this is supposed to be a beginner's drone. So hopefully it will be easy for me to use. It's 4K. And I ain't gonna act like I know anything else about this bad boy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, this, is, this is something that I'm definitely gonna have to read the instructions on how to use. Cause y'all know me, I, I, I don't read a lot of instructions. I go at it on my own, but I'm definitely gonna have to read to learn how to use this. But yeah. I got a drone and in a few days I'll show you guys practicing show you guys me practicing how to use it but I think it will be so cool to show you guys some aerial shots of the campgrounds that I stay and I'm hot I'm about to close this window that window and I'm about to turn on my air <laughs> all righty all right I returned my shoes I got my new shoes on I got my, uh, and they feel really supportive too. Uh oh, did somebody go by? I got my new shoes on. Yep. I'm going to break these bad boys in because I'm about to get to walking again. I have a drone. All righty. All right, guys. Um, I don't know that this is the end of this video, but that's the end of today. So we'll see what's going on tomorrow. And see you guys then. All right, guys, this video has been a series of two days. Uh, I find myself now uh, filming a little bit from this day, a little bit from that day, and then compile it all together to make a video. But as it stand, I kept on pushing this video off, and I ended up putting a cooking video out, and that prolonged this video coming out. But I do want to end this video with two reminders and two really exciting things that one is coming up later in the year and the other one has already happened. I just have not spoke to you guys about it yet. I'm super, super excited to give you guys the full details of that. But let's start with the two reminders. The first is the 2024 FOA Party Cruise. If you are newer to the community, uh, I'm hosting our very first annual 2024 FOA party cruise that's happening this October from October the 14th through the 19th. I'll put the link in the description of this video as well as future videos so you can at any given time just check the description, click on the link and you'll find all the information that you need about the cruise. The second reminder is for the first 2024 FOA meetup that's happening this Sunday, March the 17th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at in Orlando, Florida at the Mall of Millennia. And I will be there at the food court section from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So if you live in Orlando or live near Orlando, uh, I would love to meet you and sit down and chat and have a good old time like all of the FOA meetups have been out to this point. So come on out, let's have a good time. And you know, I'm always, this is, this seems like every time I have a meetup and after the meetup, it just reminds me that that is my most favorite part of this whole YouTube community is when I get to meet several of you guys in person and 
learn a couple of things about you, possibly putting a name to the face or a face to the name, I should be saying, and learning some of your journeys. I've met some FOAs that are into van life as well, but they didn't have a YouTube channel. And they, I met some that lived the lifestyle and was thinking about having a YouTube channel. So it's a really, really great opportunity for me to get up close and personal with some of you guys that have been supporting the FOA community as well as myself as long as you have been. Now, the next bit of news, I'm super, super excited because I have booked my next out of the country trip. Yay! And <clears throat> where am I going, you might ask? Hmm, wait for it. <laughs> I am going to China. Yay! I am going to Beijing, China. I am super excited. I'm going to get to see the Great Wall of China amongst all the other little architectural uh, things to see in China. I'm so super excited to yet again experience some of the the foods in China. I'm just so, 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 so very excited about this. And that trip is going to take place in September. Very, very excited about that. Ah, oh, man, man, man. And the next bit of news has already happened. This is Thursday. This happened Monday, I believe, of this week. I upgraded my minivan. <laughs> yes, I no longer have the minivan. I bought a new vehicle, a vehicle that I, I'm not going to say anything else about it, but just know the minivan no longer exists. I no longer have the minivan. I'll be making a full video about why I made the choice that I made, when I made it, and also what's to come in making that choice. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm super excited about the uh, trip to China. Uh, I don't know what it is about those foreign trips, but the flights are always kind of wacky. I mean, it's always like long layovers and uh, it's just, it's no way of getting around it, you know. But anyway, it's a done deal. I'll be going to Beijing, China in September. All righty. All right, guys, that's going to do be a wrap for today's video. If you are going, if you live in the Clewiston area and you are going to the Sugar Fest, um, depending on how early the Sugar Fest start, I do plan on uh, stopping that, uh, stopping through. Um, I'm not sure because I have to be in Orlando because I plan to uh, be in Orlando the day before the meetup. Or I could just go to Orlando on Sunday because it's a three-hour drive. I could just go drive three hours go to the meetup, and then come back. Uh, but we'll see. In any case, I do plan on making it to the Sugar Fest. So if you're in the area, come on out, and hopefully I'll run into you at the Sugar Fest. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Not a lot going on. I got my new walking shoes on, tennis shoes. At this point in time, I've had them for like four or five days. I love them. Uh, they felt a little snug at first, but once I start we're uh, walking in them and um, also, you know, I have my compression sock on as well. My leg is my leg is weird right now because it's it doesn't hurt at all, at all. It doesn't hurt to stand on it. It doesn't hurt to move on it, to walk on it. But at the same time, the swelling has not gone down completely. Now, I want to make this clear to you guys. When I say swelling, my leg is not big like this. I mean, it's, it's, it's a small swelling, but it's a noticeable swelling. And I know, once again, I'm going to have it checked out. I have a doctor's appointment on this upcoming Wednesday. And hopefully they will tell me what's going on with it and give me a little something for it to help, you know, get the swelling down 100%. But other than that, loving the new tennis shoes. 
Every time I look down at them, they look so freaking tiny. I laugh at how small my feet is. Now, as for the drone, I've, uh, um, I'm starting to slowly work with the drone because you got to do a lot of things with an app. And uh, this is so new to me. And I don't want to take you guys through the pain and agony of me trying to learn how to work this drone. I want to uh, show you guys when I know how to uh, work the drone where I can take you guys and, and share with you guys my first flight which will hopefully be before I leave this campground because I would love to show you guys an aerial shot of this campground but other than that this video has been kind of kind of like eh, but I hope that you got some valuable information about the things that's coming up in the FOA community, things that I am about to do. I'm super, super excited to have this new vehicle and I cannot wait to show you guys and give you guys the full tour of that, uh, of my new vehicle and tell you the story about the whole buying process. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.